Are these hook and eye binders safe to use? I was sent a selection of products to review from Weavov. Three of them were hook and eye binders. I reviewed all the other products separately, see link in the description, but since fastenings are such a debated issue within our community, I wanted to take a moment to talk about these in a bit more depth. Here are the three binders. They're Agile Short Binder, Purist Short, and Purist Tank. Binders with fastenings are not inherently bad, as long as the fastening is acting as a seam rather than a way to enforce compression. The Agile Binder is an example of this seam. It is made from a flexible mesh fabric that allows my chest to move and breathe freely without constriction. There is no inner elastic strap and it feels much like any other binder. It is comfortable and fits me very well. The adjustable side panel can also be helpful to those with mobility issues who may struggle with an overhead binder. My personal bias will always be against hook and eye binders but I am not an expert and this may be something that fits your needs. The Purest Short is the opposite of this. They have used all natural fabrics to make this binder in order to make it allergy friendly and while I love the idea behind this it is made for a very rigid binder. This is a small, the same size as all the other binders I've tested from Weavov, but as you can see, there is no way I would be able to close this. The hook and eye fastenings are being used to pull the tight inner band. That inner band is one solid structure with no breathable back, meaning it will just continue to solidly compress your body and might tighten over time. Weavov do note that you cannot wear this for as long as other binders due to the higher compression. I cannot comment on the safety of any binders, as all bodies are different and there isn't enough research into this area. However, the research we do have suggests that this type of binder is one to be avoided. The Purest Tank is an interesting mix of the previous two. It still has all natural fibres and I really love the cut and colour of this garment. The thicker shoulders and comfortable cotton tick so many boxes and I just wish that the inner binder was a pullover like their core or the swimsuit rather than the hook and eye. Why? Because as you can see, I still can't get this closed. It is also relying on the inner elastic band, but the band only exists in the front of the garment rather than than all the way around. Theoretically, this may work better than the short binder as there is more stretch in the back, but I would need to get a much larger size and by that point the compression offered would be minimal. Again, I can't comment on safety, this is more about my observations than recognised facts. In short, the purest binders are not something I could in good conscience recommend. I hope that they continue to develop allergy-friendly binders, but these were a miss for me. The Agil binder, however, did not seem to fall into the same issues. It just goes to show that it really is more about how the garment is designed than just the fastening that is being used.